Hi, those of you who want to do tilted implantology, conventional implantology, immediate load with two piece implantology, then our line has two amazing conventional implants or two piece implants which can be used for delayed loading as well as immediate load protocols. So let me introduce to you today the two R-Line babies DSI implant and the CIH implant and today I'm going to demonstrate to you the use of one kit for placing both these implants along with their indications and how exactly in which situation you should be using these implants. So it's going to be a slightly long video but if you watch the video your entire concept of doing immediate loading with two piece implant, tilted implants, TTPHI protocols will be clear with this kind of entire setup. So just concentrate on this video, just come closer please. So first let me show you both the implants. So this is called as the dental spiral implant, just go as close as possible. So this one here which I am pointing out to with my probe, if you see here it has a blunt end. Okay. So this is called as the dental spiral implant or DSI implant. As you see it's a very aggressive implant but it has a blunt end. So it is called as a DSI implant and the other one if you see it has a conical tapering design called as the CIH or the compressive internal hex implant. As the name indicates the hex internal hex of both these implants okay the internal internal surface of both these implants is a hex it is a hex so internally it has a conical hex which will prevent any kind of screw loosening and the design over here if you see this is a conical design CIH implant compressive internal hex implant and the DSI implant which has a blunt apex. Now why these two designs are needed? Wherever you want to do conventional implantology which means let's say you are doing an internal sinus lift and an implant you should use a blunt end which is a DSI implant. Wherever you want to do delayed loading DSI should be your implant of choice. Wherever you feel that you know first you are going to place implants on one side patient is going to settle down then you will do the restorative work on the other side do a delayed load protocols DSI should be your implant of choice wherever you want to perforate and engage the opposing cortical let's say your pterygoid implants your nasalis implants or your trans sinus implants your lingual and buccal cortical engagements your CIH should be the implant of choice so once again I am putting the picture of the CIH this is the compressive internal hex implant and the DSI implants so conventional implantology so all your implant systems in the market which are Israel based hex designs like your Aden implants, Norris implants, Bioline implants they are compatible with both this implant system and the indication of a CIH implant is more wherever you want to do immediate loading and engage the nasal cortical or the opposing cortical and DSI is more so when you want to do classical implantology. Now this does not mean that you cannot do immediate loading with DSI implants but there are doctors who don't want to place deep implants and want to remain in the cancellous bone or do an internal sinus lift not perforate the sinus I think DSI with the blunt tip is the best implant for them also to tell you this both implants can be matched and intermixed which means depending on the site you can place a CIH implant and next to it a DSI implant and combine because once they are done the platform, the internal hex, the prosthetic components are all same for both of them. Now let me show you the packaging of both the implants. So you may find these implants in either of this packaging. So this is our new package. So this is our new packaging and this is the old packaging. You need not worry depending what box you achieve all in future. It everything will be in this packaging. But for those of you who get this box, all you need to do is check over here and you will see the implant over here so as you see over here the DSI that is the dental spiral implant is written over here and if you see here the CIH or the so this is also DSI implant so this is the DSI with the new packaging and this is the DSI with the old packaging so don't worry about the packaging much don't worry about the packaging much just read on the package all our future subsequent packaging will be this kind of packaging 
but if you get this one all you need to do is just read on the package the sizes of the implants very easy to remember diameter 3.3 3.75 and 4.2 that is universal for both of them in terms of the length they'll start from 8 10 11.5 13 15 16 18 20 22 and so on so don't worry much about it i am also sharing the brochure along with this so you can just refer to the brochure as far as the packaging and the sizing is concerned more interestingly i want to show you the surgical kit of the system this surgical kit is common for both the implants which means with this kit you will be able to place both the dsi as well as the ch implant and those of you who wish to place the implant with the hand grip the same hand grip will be useful for your cih which is your compressive internal hex implant or if you wish to your dsi implant which is the dental spiral implant so the same hand grip is useful for both the systems that is another unique thing and this drill which i'm going to explain in the part two will be usable for both these implants so i hope this small introduction about the r line series two piece implants was useful for you for those of you who have not joined our inner circle group the whatsapp link is there you can join our inner circle group for more such informative webinars and i hope to see you in the part two of this introduction series where i'm explaining in detail the surgical kit and how to use it for our dsa as well as our cih implants so see you in part two thank you